It's a sunny day and we see a Superman statue and five people in all black running towards it, planting a bomb. Get back! Boom! And they blow that shit to smithereens. After that display of disrespect, Superman pulls up, looking menacing as shit. Superman tells the Flash to round up all the terrorists and he finds them in a second. Who are you? We're the ordinary people against the rule of Superman. Cyborg then calls Superman telling them there's actually five, not four. So Superman and the Flash take off to find the last one, not realizing that the fifth person was right in their face. He's a shapeshifter and he turned into the bench he tries to quickly untie his friends hey bro what are you doing stay hidden shh, shh, shh. but then the flash comes out of nowhere catching him lacking ayo superman our guy is a talking bench i'm not a i'm no bench and he turns into a dinosaur type monster i'm your nightmares made real i am chaos ah! Superman flies in rocking his ass and starts choking him. Please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. Flash like, I know you, don't I? They take him back to the Hall of Justice and find out his name is Luke. Our boy Luke isn't just anybody. He's the son of Patrick O'Brien, AKA Plastic Man. I love what you guys did to the place. What do you want, Plastic Man? For a start, I want you to stop pretending like you don't know why I'm here. We can't release your son. Of course you can. What's the point of being a despot if you can't abuse your powers for your friends? All the best dictatorships have a healthy sprinkling of nepotism am i right up top superman just stares at him wonder woman chimes in superman is no despot he's literally sitting on a throne it's a chair well that's one big ass chair oh come on do you all still believe you're the good guys look at you even if you don't want to look into the mirror at least look at your friend sinestro he has an actual bad guy mustache he's not even hiding it i bet he even twirls it when no one's looking and laughs maniacally we heard enough plastic man we're not changing our mind what the hell is wrong with you considering all this started with the death of your kid I figured you'd have a bit more empathy. Superman gets pissed and starts charging up a punch for Plastic Man. But the Flash stops him. Flash, it's time to go. Yeah, I, I'll leave all your delusions of righteousness. The Flash walks him out and Plastic Man asks him, why are you doing this? The Flash just tells him about Luke, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too. He puts his fingers up the Flash's nose, putting him to sleep. He's doing all this so he can take the Flash's shape. Plastic Man tricks Cyborg into thinking he's the Flash. He makes his way into the Hall of Justice where Cyborg shows him all the prison's weaknesses he walks out that room happy as shit it's too easy he reminisces about the old happy justice league for a second then he walks into their storage room grabbing a whole bunch of green lantern rings on the way out he has somebody on a helicopter fly him above superman's underwater prison and then he dives into the water transforming into dead weight so he goes all the way down once he gets to the prison he oozes his way through the vents he then spots a prison guard steals his face and then he knocks him out stealing his outfit too <sighs> now that he's a prison guard he makes his way into the main cafeteria where he catches the fallen green lantern kilowog eating a sandwich without that ring can you speak our language depends on who you're asking all right don't react i'm a friend i will get you out of here but i need some information i'm listening my son luke he's a shapeshifter they just brought him in anyone with powers is not allowed with us he'll be in a sealed cell in the basement all right okay i'm gonna go get him and then i'm gonna come back and free you but i need you to do something for me what do you need i need all the attention to be focused on this room <laughs> easy Hey, yo, Bane, what? I don't know how to properly insult you in your language, so... Boom, he headbutts Bane. Bro just started a cafeteria squabble. Plastic Man goes down to the basement looking for his son, Sil. A voice from the camera says, Yo, Plastic Man, I was told to look out for you. I don't know how you got in here, but your prison break ends now. There's nothing you can do. That door is sealed. You're done. Uh, I see a keyhole right here. That lock is made out of vibranium, the toughest in the world. Plastic Man shoves his hand in it. Yeah. Click. Yo, look, I found the key. And he flicks them off. He opens every cell, unleashing all types of villains. He grabs his son, but then the alarm goes off. And instantly, Superman is on his way. And the rest of the gang follow too. Plastic Man runs back into the cafeteria. Kilowog, stop. But then some fart gas comes out the vent. And it turns out to be the warden. Metamorpho. Oh, hi, Rex. I'm glad you came, O'Brien. You clearly belong here. And you saved us the trouble of bringing you in. Somebody's knocking on the glass. Everybody looks up and sees Superman. And he just stands there exuding his dominant aura. But Plastic Man's not no fool. He knew this shit was coming. Yo, Kilowog, catch. And he throws all the green lanterns their rings no sinestro charges up an attack sinestro don't and he fires a beam right through kilowog's heart right when he catches his ring kilowog 
is dead. And now there's also a hole through the facility. Kilowog! Before they can even grieve, they gotta worry about all the water coming through the dome. But Plastic Man tells them to stop and he stretches out covering it. Superman can't come in here without everyone dying. What the hell are you talking about? We need this glass. Luke, put on that belt and turn it on. That's Mirror Master's belt and he opens the mirror world. Ugh, no! Stretch out, Luke! Everyone, grab a hold! And he pulls everybody into the mirror world. The glass cracks again and there's another hole. No! <laughs> he stretches himself out more. Luke tries to go up to his dad. Go! He's stretching himself out past his limits, tearing himself apart. Dad, come on. I can't move, Luke. Of course you can. But you know what I think? I think you like drama. I think some screwed up part of yourself finds it easier to sacrifice yourself than escape and hang out with me. That's actually pretty insightful. They dap each other up. Come on, dad. Boom! The prison explodes. Plastic Man, his son, and all the prisoners are now in the mirror dimension. So Plastic Man decides to give him a little speech. I know some of you guys are criminals because that's all you know, but I also know some of you are truly nightmarishly evil. I'm not trying to ignore my responsibilities, and it would be pretty irresponsible of me to let you all go and continue being little shits. My son was locked up for standing up to Superman, and well, seeing as we helped you escape and stopped you from imploding, I would really appreciate it if you focus most your evil on Superman. Superman. Do whatever you can to make his life a living hell. You guys like that deal? Um, sure. Hey, thanks, Killer Croc. And they all just leave going back to the real world. Plastic Man walks out with his son. Look, if you really want, we can stand up to Superman. Or, you know, we could hide and wait until more qualified people bring him down. And they walk out a happy family. This event leads into year five, which is definitely on the way. I'm gonna see y'all boys and girls next time. Ah!